Today, we're going to talk about gyno, or if you want to call it by technical term, gynecomastia. Hello, it's Uncle Buck, and welcome back to some more TRT talk at Uncle Buck's advice. Uh, today, we're going to talk about gyno, uh, and can TRT create or affect it? And yes, the possibility is there for some of your testosterone that you inject or creams you put on or however it is you take it, for that to transform into estrogen and cause swelling in the glands. Yes, it can definitely happen. Your estrogen, that's why you get blood work done because you, while you're taking this, you have to watch your estrogen levels because they will climb too. There'll be a conversion go on with your free that you don't use that will turn into estrogen and your estrogen levels will rise just like your testosterone levels will, okay? And that's what causes the swelling of the glands. That's what causes the gyno. It's a very simple process. You have to watch those numbers. You have to get tested for that as well as your testosterone levels, okay? But it's a very simple. I take anastrozole, which is a conversion blocker, basically, for or it just blocks the blocks it from going in. Whatever it does, it knocks my estrogen levels down to near nothing. And I just take it just a couple, three times a week. Um, I get prescription basically for uh, every day, uh, one one tenth of a milligram or whatever the dosage is. But it, it is in a, it's a very small pill, and I take it a couple, three times a week, and it keeps my estrogen levels down to below 10, which is what you want. Um, you need a little bit for just normal working of your system because it does affect sex drive, believe it or not. Estrogen levels do. Um, but it also, if your estrogen levels raise, you're going to become more emotional. Not mad, not TR. Okay, here, listen. TRT does not cause roid rage. Roid rage is for guys that stick in a, a needle in their butt every day, twice, three times a day, with outlandish amounts of, of esters and uh, steroids. This is not steroid therapy. This is testosterone replacement therapy. This is low dose get you back up to working levels of what you were at 25. That's all it is. You know, if you think that this is going to turn you into Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's not. It will help you in the gym. It will help you be a better you, but it won't turn you into Superman. But there are things you have to watch, and gyno is one of them. And, uh, estrogen trans uh, transitioning from uh, from testosterone to estrogen is also a conversion. Is also one of those things that you have to watch. It's something that has to be paid attention to, and that's with blood work. And it's a very simple little little bitty white pill that I take a couple times a week, a couple three times, and it fixes it. All right. But if you don't pay attention to it, if you just somehow are doing this on the street under doctor's supervision, which I always recommend, always under a doctor's supervision, if you're doing this on the sly, that's bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go to the doctor. Get blood work done. Okay? And tell your normal doctor that you're doing it. My Both my wellness doctor and my normal day-to-day -day general practitioner doctor, they know of each other. They talk, the offices talk back and forth. When I get blood work done with my general doctor, she sends it to the wellness doctor and vice versa, wellness to my general. They communicate. They need to be involved, okay? So each one of them knows what the other one is doing, okay? But yes, it needs to be addressed. It needs to be paid attention to. Gyno can happen even on low dose testosterone therapy. All right? Keep a check on it. If you're here and you like this, give me one of those. Hit that bell so you get told when new ones uh, drop. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And y'all have a great day. Because a great day today could mean a day without gyno tomorrow. Y'all be good.